Hungary's film industry is enjoying a welcome boost in the shape of a 3 million euro production fund for three new projects. Home Guards is one of them. It's the fourth feature film by Christina Goda, who studied at the National Film and Television School in London and at UCLA. The story of two brothers in a small town somewhere in Hungary, it's a movie about what a little power and ideology can do to a human being or a community as a whole. In my former movie Chameleon, I made a film about a man who cheats everyone he meets. This movie is more about how an entire community can be manipulated. I find it very interesting and exciting. It offers a lot of possibilities, dramatic possibilities. The story is based on a Hungarian novel by Laszlo Bernat Seto, which has often been compared to Tony Kaye's 1998 movie American History X. Racism and violence by paramilitary groups against the Roma community is a growing problem in Hungary. But, says Christina Goda, her aim was not to shoot a documentary about real events. The world in our film is a fictive, imaginary world. Our youth organization is not meant to echo any existing group. That wasn't our goal. The movie tells the story of two brothers living a life without perspectives and without jobs. They're recruited to join the so-called Home Guards and take a stand against crime, but the movement soon descends into vigilantism. Actor Viktor Klem plays the older brother. You see how we are at the beginning of the film, and at the end you see what we've become. We've shaved our heads. Like many young men with a passion, we have no more limits. We have no more enemies. We do what we want and we don't care what others think. His younger brother is played by Attila Vidnyansky Jr., a student at the University of Theatre and Film Arts. In real life, I also have a brother, and I'm very familiar with this atmosphere, these country boys hanging out on the streets, you know. Shooting on the film runs until the end of the month. Home Guards by Christina Goda is expected to be released next year.